Well, guys, quite a while back, Peter Valerio sent me some really weird keyweighed locks. And this little castle has been living in my naughty bucket for a very, very long time. It's going to be difficult to see, I think, down inside of that keyway, but you can see pins like all over the place inside of this H shape. I guess that would be a fat I shaped keyway. But when you take a look at the key, that'll give you a kind of a better idea of what it is we're looking at. So it looks like there are three pins uh, on every single side of this very thick key. So that would be three top left, three top right, bottom left, bottom right, and then three along each side. So I think that works out to, what is that, 18 pins inside of this little thing. So now I think you understand why. It's not that big of a lock, but I think you understand, based on the locking mechanism, why that's been living in my naughty bucket. Well, I'm going to try something new today. So let me clamp this guy up, and let's see if we can finally get an eviction on this castle. All right, I'm going to show you how much this will turn so we know when we get an open. So slide that dude in there, and it rotates only about 45 degrees. So it doesn't really rotate very much before we get that open. Uh, we could probably shim it, but that's not what this game is about, is it? All right, so it is locked. I'm going to have to use two different tensioners here uh, because when I put the tensioner in, say, right there, it's got to go clockwise. So when I put the tensioner in right there, if I put it in here, it rolls out. So I've got to pick it from this side, or tension it from this side. But when I want to pick the pins on the right wall or in that bottom slot, I'm going to have to switch. And I have to put this guy up there like that, and then move him so I can alternate back and forth. So that's the theory anyway. All right, so let's find out how valid that theory is. I'm going to apply very heavy tension. I'm going to use a wave rake. Because I'm hoping that this thing does not, I mean, I'm really putting the tension on this thing, too. I'm going to hope it does not have security pins. And I tried picking it, single pin picking. I've never really tried raking it, though. And it doesn't seem like it's working today. That right wall, nothing. Upstairs, nothing is binding, and on the bottom, it doesn't appear anything is binding either. It, it gets caught. There's a little lip on the inside of the lock face, on the inside of the keyway, but, yeah. Let me just bounce it up and down a little bit. Nothing. All right, let me try it. Maybe the other side is binding first. Oftentimes, when you have this many rows of pins, one row will bind before the other. So let's find out. Got them here. No. How about the side? Look at another failed experiment, Bill. Oh, I felt a very tiny turn. Whoops, all the way around. All right, let's go back on the other side. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Evicted. I guess that's proof, you know, don't give up. Keep trying different techniques because I wouldn't have thought that raking all of these different angles would have been a, a, a good attack for the rake, particularly with those ones on the side. When I was raking, I really couldn't get a feel. I mean, I knew I was kind of, kind of hitting them, but I wasn't really sure that they were lined up. So I never really considered this before, but yeah, dang, if that didn't work pretty well. Anyway, guys, Peter, thank you, sir, for this lock and several others that I'm going to have to pull out of the composting section, the very lowest part of the naughty bucket. See if I can get those open now. Appreciate your time, guys. Stay safe. Stay legal.